Welcome to every shot from a 10 handicappers round here at Nazing Golf Club. We are playing off the winter tee boxes today, guys. We've got a 378 yard par 4 SI5 to start us off. It's a bit right. Yeah. <laughs> Just let a couple of guys through. I think that was a mistake. They seem quite slow, but I didn't want to hold them up. Get over the bunker. Yeah, all right, we're up and over the bunker. We should be absolutely fine there. Just off the side here, about 50 yards in. Got my 54 out. Ball's caked in mud, slightly down, downhill lie. That could be really good. Oh, go on. Oh, it's pretty much pin eye, right on it. Probably like three, four foot for the first one. Not bad. One thing I do like about nasing is that during the winter, their, their greens really do roll really nice. So Great par to start. Wouldn't have expected that after that tee shot. Next up, we have a short par three. It's 145 yards. It's SI17. We have got 151 into this pin here. It's into wind, so I'm gonna take an eight iron because it's at the back, so it kind of counteracts. I'm happy to go a little bit short, to be honest, so. A little left, a little bit snatchy. I kind of slipped, I won't lie. Uh, it might be green, I'm not sure. We've got 51 foot here for a birdie. Um, realistically, I'm just going to try and get it there. It's kind of downhill a little bit. Uh, it's going to go left to right. We've got a putt for a lot of fringe, so. Oh, hello, there's a chance. Go, 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 go. Oh, it just took a little, there's a bit of mud on the ball. Should have cleaned it. I'll tell you what, that ain't bad from there. We put it to, what, three, two foot? There we go. Didn't even take the mud off it. I'm an absolute psycho. Hole three is a 330 yard par four and it's SI15. In hindsight, I probably should have thought about it being mats and brought some tees. They obviously come with preset tees, but that is a lot lower than I would usually like for a driver, but I'm sure we can make it work. That is absolutely sublime. What a shot. Decent drive, we've got 90 yards in here. Got my 48 degree. Gonna aim it a little bit right at the pin because there's not as much space left. Sit. Oh yeah, we've got a good chance for birdie here, guys. Come on. Now, I'd love to be able to keep doing this channel full time, guys, but we've got to grow it a lot if we want to get there. So I'm going to need you, my day ones, my OGs, to get involved with everything. So if you see me post on Instagram, on YouTube, get in the video, watch it all, make sure you like, comment, share it, all of that good stuff, because that really does make a difference to the algorithm. And it could push us up and we could potentially make this a full time thing. I mean, I've got a young family that I have to provide for. So at the moment, this is just a hobby. FIFA is still paying the way, but I'd love this to be the main thing. Oh wow, okay. I actually adjusted to go that side and then it's actually broke that way. Damn, if I'd just, put, if I'd just gone with the line that was on the ball already, it would have been fine, but. That is uh, three pars on the bounce. Can't complain with that. A naughty little par four next. It's 290 yards. It has a ditch that guards the raised green. Big tree in front of it as well. It's not easy. Short par four, but just before the hole where it goes up, there is actually a water hazard, so we need to make sure that we lay up in front of that. So I'm going to take three wood here. That's going to be almost perfect. Yeah, I think we've given ourselves a big tree right in front of the green. I think we're far enough left that it shouldn't be an issue. All right, we've got 68 to the flag here. Unfortunately, we are a little bit obstructed by the tree. Uh, I'm actually going to go left of it and just hopefully get on the green and give myself a putt, really. Might be a little bit too much. Sit. Sit. Oh, we're green. We're all good. We're on the green. Happy days. Feel like a bit of a muggle there because um, I put the drone up on the green and I was like, where's the ball? I was actually filming the green behind it. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we've got about 22 foot for birdie here. Again, it feels kind of flat, but also kind of not flat. Oh, there's a chance. Oh, I just broke off last second. Oh, that's, uh, 
That was close, that was a really good roll actually. There we go, four pars on the bounce. Next up we have a par five which is 436 yards long. It's our first par five of the day. Yeah, that'll do, that'll play. Between the bunkers in the fairway somewhere hopefully. Yeah, it looks fairway to me. Yeah, I left it. I've run 250 yards back to get this. We've come through here, kind of blocked out by these trees, so I think that hybrid three was not an option. About 2.30 out, so I'm gonna take seven iron straight over the top of those. Oh, that is very left. Should be all right, as long as it gets through all the trees. Yeah, it's down there. We have got 68 to this pin, but it's right at the back and behind the green, with barely any space, is a ditch. We don't want to end up in that, so we're going to play this like it's not even a 60 shot, maybe like 55, just be on the green and have a chance to putt. That could be really good. Yeah, that could be good. I mean, we might be a little bit short, but that was the plan all along. I've hit the floor. <laughs> that was a dreadful putt, but it means that we should stay on the par train. Yeah, that's a five, that's a par. And I'm not gonna lie, I think we're playing pretty good right now. Hole six is a 395 yard par four. It's one of the most difficult on the course. It has a huge pond up the right hand side, which guards the green. Really want to avoid that big electricity pylon on the left hand side there. Oh, dude, not the cleanest of hits, but it's straight out the middle. Right, we've got 164 to the pin. We're into wind. I'm taking a seven iron. 164 is kind of seven iron distance for me. But the pin's right at the back. Obviously, the wind's hurting. I think middle of the green is absolutely fine here. Oh, I've lost it right. That's going to go in the pond. Sugar. That is in the pond. We're taking a penalty, guys. Oh, yikes. Uh, dropping on the line that it went in on. That's fine. Right, this is for four. Hole out for a par. <laughs> 78 yards. I think we'll play a 70 shot here. Oh, I've pulled it left a little bit. Good for distance? Nope, very bad. Right, now we're gonna be trying to get up and down for a double. There we go, nice little, nice little double bogey for the scorecard. Sorry if I was a bit quiet there guys, and there was three guys teeing off and they were asking me about the drone. It was a little bit awkward. They didn't seem to mind though, so that's good. Hole seven is a 485 yard par five. It's SI9. It has a huge pond that guards the green at the front right. Let's see if we can keep this one from play. Let's choose a spot, commit to it. Don't want to go to the left, really. Oh, I caught that so out the middle. Oh my God, that is smoked. I was hoping I'd be a bit further down than this. I'm a three wood away, but there's water that cuts in on the right. And after the last hole, I think better to play it safe. So we're gonna hit an eight iron here. Good job I can't get to the water in it because otherwise that'd be straight in it, I think. Yeah, we're fine. 75 yards, taking my 48 here. Gonna try and play like an 80 shot. Oh, I've fatted it, please go. Roll. I think it's on, it might just be off, I'm not sure. 36 foot. It's quite a lot of, quite a lot of duck poo on my line. I think I've hit that too hard. Oh, it's run on a little bit. Not too bad, but I did whack it. Ooh, it was trying to drop out. It was trying to get out of there. All right, we've made a five. We are still two over through, I think that's seven. Hole eight is 160 yard par three and it is SI13. Oh, that is terrible. All right, well, it looks like we'll need to get an up and down from there because that's the worst swing of the day by a mile. That feels pretty good like that. That 
That could be good. Oh, it's way short. Way short. We have got a 24 footer for par up the hill. Could use making one of these really. I think I've smashed that. Oh dear. Now we're struggling for double. Whew. All right. That's good. Very, very good. Making a double there would have been calamitous, I won't lie. It means that we are currently three over going into nine. Hole nine is a 353 yard par four and it is SI7. Oh, we can easily carry the bunkers, so we're just gonna go straight at them. That is not straight over the top of them, but hopefully it's gonna catch and stay in the shorter. Oh, I think I might have carried it into the longer, thicker stuff. We've got 121 to the flag, it's at the back, it's downwind. I've got pitching wedge in hand. I don't think that this is gonna come out particularly well. Uh, it's just sitting down so much, so definitely gonna try and come in on it steep. Oh, it's come out all right. That might be perfect, you know. Oh, we're bouncing up there. We'll go have a look. It's all about speed, this one. If you told me I was putting for birdie over there, I'd be Snapping your hand off. Oh, hello. Keep going. Go, 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 go. Oh, he's made it. Now, I don't want to tempt fate, but there is something about filming these rounds with you guys, the quiet, the calm, the relaxing nature of it, just me and a camera that I'm really enjoying. And we are scoring really well as well on them. So it's not the norm, but I have been practicing a lot recently. So I think I'm due my scores to come tumbling down a bit. Starting the back nine with a par five, it's a 488 yarder and it is SI4. All right, we are sending driver here. I did wonder if I was aiming left. Oh, stay in play. I've seen it down. Make a mental note of that. Found the ball. It's not sitting particularly well. This rough is pretty wicked if you get the wrong lie. That ditch there is about 100 yards. Um, I need enough loft to get me out. Um, I'm going to take 9 iron. Should go about 140 over the top of the trees. So just need to make good contact here. Again, need to make sure that we come down on it. So nice and steep. Oh, oh, it's gonna hit that tree. Oh, it's through. We have just got so lucky. It hit that tree, the second one on. I wasn't even aiming to go near that, but it's hit it, but it's gone through and it's on the fairway on the other side. It's another appearance for the nine iron here. Uh, we've got 132 in, uphill, into wind. Uh, so yeah, just gonna hit a nice full nine iron and hopefully it should get there. Oh, that is not very good. Just avoid the bunker and we'll be all right. All right, just be massively short. I've literally fatted the hell out of that. Gonna go low little flighter here. Just kind of release one Dan Greaves style with a 48. Roll up. It's not woeful. I caught it like really thin. This is definitely like a speed putt. So I'm gonna just kind of like try and map it out in my head as to how it's gonna roll in. Almost mapped it perfectly, but didn't quite. It's going to be a bogey. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> Hole 11 is a 154 yard par 3 and it is SI 16. This par 3 is 165, pins right at the back. A little bit downhill. Middle of the green would be good here. Oh, that is such a bad strike. I mean, it might get to the green, just... Don't know, that might be fringe. All right, we've got a relatively long one here. 60 foot for birdie. Surprised it even made it. It's actually not far off being pin eye. I don't think that's got the legs. And it's actually caught the bowl on the left-hand side and it's dragged it down. No! Oh my God, that's the second one of those that's just missed. Uh, right, that's another bogey. Where well, the par's gone? Hole 12 is a par five. It's 468 yards, newly constructed lake on the left-hand side, and it's SI6. Oh dear, it says he doesn't want to cut the corner, and then he's taking it really tight. Um, yeah, punishment, not able to go for green in two on this par five. 
Oh God, get over. Oh, I've shanked it and we've got away with it. It's in the fairway over there. <laughs> Full committed nine iron. Um, it's probably a bit too much club, but we're kind of into wind, so I'm not too bothered about that. Oh, bit left. I was aiming left because I was expecting it to turn right. It's gone off the back. Oh, wrong club, pulled it, so many errors. I haven't really played a proper bunker shot all winter, so not a clue what's going to happen here. All right, that's actually a pretty good result. We've got a chance of making par. Should have hit it. <laughs> oh, fair enough, fair enough. Hole number 12 is another par three. Huge lake protecting the right hand side of the green and it's SI 14. All right, uh, we've got a 147 shot here. Water all up the right, but that's not really an issue because we just carry it over the top of that. I've got an eight iron, just a bit extra. I feel like long here is definitely better than short. Please get across the water. Oh my God, it has. Big sigh of relief there. <laughs> 50 foot for birdie. We love a long one. Wow, is that not going to turn? All right, it turned just like a fraction right at the end. <laughs> Didn't bother doing anything else until then. There we go, we finally make one. It's par, baby. We love to see it. Hole 14 is the second hardest on the course, a 370 yard uphill par four. Right, just want to hit this slightly right of the bunker. We can't get anywhere near the bunker, but we want to be kind of on that line. Right, it's pretty good. Yeah, that's right in the middle of the fairway. 120 here, got pitching wedge out. Just don't seem to be hitting stuff very far today, so. Oh, that's so bad. I had so many dark thoughts in my head. Do you know what I mean? When you have dark thoughts in your head. I don't mean anything like sinister. I'm thinking more like, oh, don't top it, don't shank it. And then it's almost impossible not to do those exact things, so. <laughs> Um, not got the best lie, going to go a little bit toe down here. Run. Oh, hello. Didn't know it was going to turn that much, that's decent. <laughs> decent. Woo, we make a par, back to back pars. It was scrambled, but we love eggs, so there you go. Also guys, I know these videos are a little bit rushed. I'm always fighting against the, the sun going down, the sun setting. But as the days get longer, I'm hoping to travel further afield from the courses just around where I'm based. So if you want to play around with me, you can get me on your course, they'll let me film. Then hit me up down in the comment section or tweet me or something because I am looking for some decent courses to go play this summer. Hole 15 is a par three. It's the easiest on the course, only being 131 yards long. Can't see a bloody thing, it's straight into the sun. So just imagine you're at the driving range and just hitting, hitting at random flags out there. I mean, I can't see it at all. I saw it land, short left maybe? Yeah, I'm kind of shocked to actually find my bat ball on the green. I thought it was really short. So happy days. We've got a 30 footer for birdie. There's a chance. Oh, he caught the lip, you little rotter. In the side door. Almost home and dry. Hole 16 is a par four and it is SI 12 at 314 yards. Right, a bit of an interesting tee shot here kind of in between hitting three wood and hitting driver, but I'm gonna go driver because we can hit it well all day. Oh, I've pulled it left. Oh, I should have hit three wood. We're gonna have to re I'm gone, that's gone. Yeah, I will go look for that one. Um, obviously, I don't wanna let the potential best round ever go, but I think it's very unlikely we find it. So this is a provisional. Why didn't I just do that the first time? That's absolutely perfect. Sad crying face. It seems like every time I have a chance to do a PB, I go and hit it in the bushes or something. <laughs> All right, guys, sadly that ball was well and truly gone. Um, this ball, however, very good. We've got 60 yards to the pin. Dunk it, it's a par. Get up and down, it's a bogey. It's not over yet. That is, gotta get lucky. 
and it is sat on the lip of the bunker. That is a horrendous swing. Big numbers coming. Okay, just the toe is what I'm looking for here. That's come out really good. Might have saved a double there. Well, that blows, doesn't it? That really, really blows. Um, I'm, I'm close to tears, guys. I'm close to tears. We're currently nine over. If we can birdie the last two, I'll break my PB, but I think that dream may be dead. Hole 17 during the summer is actually a drivable par four, but in the winter it's been reduced down to 148 yard par three and it's SI8. It's only 148 yards to the pin. I've got a bit of a cold and I feel a little bit clammy, so I haven't been hitting things as far as I usually would. Uh, so I'm gonna hit eight iron. That is so bad, please get over the pond, please, please. <gasps> I have no idea what it's hit. It's like maybe it's hit the wood or something, but it's on the green. Bearing in mind, I barely made contact with that. <laughs> Bit of a result. What we've got here, guys, is an 80 foot putt and it is a helter skelter. I'm playing it so far out to the right, it's scary. <laughs> if this went in, it'd be the best putt of my entire life. And it has a chance. Oh, it's bobbling a lot. It's not actually the worst putt in the world, but I've pulled it and made a bogey and now we're 10 over. I thought we were going to smash our handicap today, but that last hole has demolished us. And to finish it off, we have a par five. It is 445 yards long and it is SI 10. I think I might let a little bit out on this ball, guys. Um, those last two holes have, well, they've crushed me. Oh, that is so bad. I don't know what I was thinking there. Yeah, that drive was truly woeful. Terrible lie, 250 to the flag, gonna hit nine iron here. Oh, it's probably one of my best iron shots of the day. Let me guess, it goes in the rough. <laughs> we need to do something pretty miraculous here. We have got a bunker right in front of the pin. It's 85 yards away. There's not much in front or behind the pin because we're coming in from a side angle, which means we need to land it right on it. Only problem is we're coming out of the rough, so we're going to have no spin. So I can't do anything low and drilled. So I'm going to have to take it high and hit a full 54, which is very dangerous. But I believe. Oh, it's left. That could be bad. Well, it's over the bunker. I think we're looking to make it up and down here. Here's the score, guys. I caught a little piece of the green. If we make this putt, 27 foot for birdie, we'll shoot nine over. Current course is a part 70 so it'll be the second time i've ever broken 80 which is huge oh that is so bad well i didn't leave it short that's for fucking sure and he does it get in we like to see it i love this game i've enjoyed every minute of today so hopefully you have too if you want to see another video from me just click right here